We are covering Colorado first with an update on an ongoing case. It was almost two months ago we told you about a Lakewood bar whose owner felt she was being unfairly targeted. The city suspended Jumbo's liquor license, but tonight it's been reinstated. Jasmine Arenas has been following the story from the start. And Jasmine, I know before we had talked about those unfounded accusations, but what finally led the city to give this liquor license back? Well, according to the owner, Tanisha Howard, the city did not find enough evidence to officially take away her license, but even though she is now able to run her business, it's been tough. They feel like they have to start over. The past three months have been a nightmare for Jumbo Sports Bar and Grill owner, Tanisha Howard. I had to fight for get my liquor license back. Now I got to fight to try to stay in the building. Her liquor license was suspended due to allegations of serving alcohol to minors, which the state found weren't true. On top of that, countless complaints from neighbors regarding noise, violence, and police activity. I'm just at the point now where I'm trying to rebuild. It's, it's kind of hard, even me trying to work with my landlord on, you know, extension of rent, you know, and... He's like, no. She says problems began when new management took over in May. After a couple court hearings, she's now allowed to run her business again. But it's far from easy. Lakewood City Councilwoman Anita Springsteen has been supporting the family through this. It was very, very difficult to watch them have to go through that hearing on their own without representation. But I'm, I'm glad to see that they're back up and running, and I'm hopeful that people will be fair with them. At the end, the judge pretty much said, you know, there was really, there was no findings, you know, that they had no evidence. It was our hearsay. We reached out to the city for comment and are waiting for a response. For now, the owners are working to build up their clientele so they can at least make their monthly rent. Even though they gave it back to me, they don't understand how much effect it took on my finances. Now, Howard tells me she is now going to serve as vice president of the NAACP chapter in Jefferson County. She wants to be a voice for people like her and make sure they get a fair chance. Kelly.